extreme poverty. In Asia alone, by the end of next year, there will be 113 million unemployed people. Forced labor steals $20 billion a year in wages from the people doing the labor and puts it in someone's pocket. Makes profits for someone. Growing poverty make people more vulnerable. Vulnerable, pe vulnerable people increase the supply of forced laborers. But demand is also increasing, so we've got to go in both ways. The worldwide rise in modern-day slavery is a result of a demand for cheap goods and services. The relentless drive by corporations in a globalized economy to avoid taxes, to avoid union labor, and to make as much money as possible. That's why we don't make anything here anymore. Because it costs too much to pay unionized workers to make autos in Detroit. So if you open the hood of your Chevrolet, your engine came from Brazil. Other parts of your, your, your car came from, I, I'm not sure what came from the United States anymore. Malaysia, Taiwan, Brazil, I think the little thing that says Chevy may have come from Detroit. Forced labor, cheap labor, child slave labor is an easy way for multinational corporations to pad their financial health. Of course, they kill the people that work for them, but after all, it's those people. The U.S. Department of Labor in 2009 issued a really pretty report. It's a lovely report. It listed all of those products, 142 of them, which we commonly buy, which are predominantly, not sometimes, but predominantly produced by forced slave labor. I'm not going to read you all 142. I'm going to do a few of them. I'm going to do about a dozen. The Department of Labor declined to name the businesses that profited from them because they said two things. One, there are too many businesses that profit from them. And two, to name the ones that have been subject of criminal and civil action might harm their bottom lines. Well, I don't worry about their bottom lines. I'd like to do my best to harm them. I'd like to see their profits go through the floor. I'd like to see them out of business. So I'm going to. Let me tell you about a dozen or so of the most commonly purchased products in the United States produced by slaves, and in this case, almost exclusively by child slaves. Bananas. Remember our friends at Chiquita spend millions of dollars on death squads in South America. Remember our friends at Chiquita have overthrown governments in South America who wanted to tax bananas. Carpets. That's important. Got to have that oriental rug to add that nice decorating touch to your split level, don't you? Chocolate and cola drinks. In particular, and let me be specific here, candy and drinks manufactured by the Nestle Corporation, which makes the very best child labor chocolate. And Coca-Cola, which spends millions, millions, illegally funding death squads and paramilitary organizations in South America. Christmas decorations. God, is nothing sacred? All of those lovely important lights, ornaments, garlands, and those delightful light-up baby Jesus you put on your front lawn are produced by slave labor in Taiwan and sold to you by Walmart. I don't think that's what Jesus had in mind. I could be wrong. Clothing and textiles, I know you all need to be fashionable. You need to look good. You need to keep up with the latest trends in fashion. Can't wear last year's shit. And you need to get it as cheaply as possible. So you buy from the major retail chains that rely on slave labor. And here they are. Check your labels. Walmart, Gap, Old Navy, Banana Republic, Target, or Target, depending on. Abercrombie and Fitch, Eddie Bauer, Burberry, Guess, and Tommy Hilfiger. All use child slave labor. 
make you feel better about your fashion sense? Diamonds. We already talked about diamonds. Well, let me tell you the truth about diamonds. De Beers is the largest diamond merchants in the world. De Beers buys every diamond they can get their hands on. No matter how much blood is on them, no matter how many wars they have to fund to get them, <clears throat> they put them in vaults. Why? Because if De Beers ever dumped their supply of diamonds on the world market, that ring you're wearing on your finger would be worth exactly what it is, the price of a cheap piece of coal. Diamonds are worthless. That symbol of eternal love is worthless. He went to Jared's to buy me a worthless rock covered in the blood of children, a piece of coal. Electronics, God, we got to have that stuff, don't we? You got to have the new flat screen TV that does all kinds of neat shit. You got to have the MP3 players. You got to have a mobile phone loaded with 200 apps that you don't even know how to use and couldn't figure out what they were for if you had to. You got to have the newest, most expensive, finest sound system so Beyonce and Usher don't drop a single syllable while you're listening to them. Where do you think that comes from? It comes from slave labor in Korea and Taiwan and Thailand. When you go to your savings place, I don't want to keep saying Walmart, but that's exactly who I mean, to buy these less expensive toys to entertain yourself and fill your lives, you're buying the products of human trafficking. Emeralds, emeralds are mined by forced child labor working for paramilitary groups in Colombia. Fireworks, we celebrate the 4th of July and what's left of America freedom with incendiary slaves made by slaves, or incendiary devices made by slaves. Food, the two largest agricultural corporations in the United States, Archer Daniels Midland and Cargill, make use of humans trafficked to work in unsafe conditions in the fields so that we could put cheap food on our tables. And lots of other companies do too. Smithfield Ham, Tecosta Eggs, which are most of the eggs sold in Kentucky, all use slave labor. <clears throat> Footwear. Of course we know if we could own Kobe shoes, we'd be able to shoot like Kobe run like Kobe, date like Kobe, maybe go on trial like Kobe. Both Adidas and Nike openly deal with businesses and employ trafficked human beings who work in desperate conditions for little or no money and are disciplined with violence and rape. Rape. Remember that the next time you lace up your Nikes. Pornography. Guys, who do you think is exploited to maintain the only stable relationship you probably are in? Gold we've talked about, rubies we've talked about. Here's one that I'll scare the hell out of you. Surgical instruments. Damn. <laughs> I'm not even going to get sick anymore. And last, toys. And who would buy toys produced by child labor, by child slaves? Well, I'll tell you. The Walt Disney Company. It's a small world after all. A real small world when you got child slaves. And of course, Walmart. Where you can buy cheap toys covered in lead paint made by enslaved children to entertain and poison your children. 